Hey, good Fox here. Today I got what some consider the best corner in Mutt 18 right now, Chris Harris Jr. Got him cammed up to 91 overall. His 92 zone coverage means he's going to break on the ball spectacularly well. Let's go through the stats before we get back to that. 87 speed, 86 acceleration, agility 89, man coverage 91, which is definitely something we want to talk about. Press 90, player at 91, and catching at 81, which is good to convert uh, misreads into turnovers. Uh, there is block shed shedding at 72, uh, and, and so on and so forth with the card. So, Chris Harris Jr., does he play like the best corner in mud? It's hard to deny it. Uh, press at 92, I, oh, 90 also. I think I said that, actually. Um, it's hard to deny he is the best. He was matched up there against... What I consider maybe a contender for the best, it's between him and Woodson for sure. Um, this Harris Jr., it, it felt like whenever they went to his side of the ball with the pass, with the runs a different story, uh, he was making plays for me. Uh, there he is against a run. He's got decent block shed, you know, but run uh, wide receiver has a good run block this year. So he isn't as spectacular that as you think he is. Now let's watch this play. Look at that guy running free down the sideline. Watch this in slow motion. Chris Harris Jr. on the left side of your screen. Watch him react to where this ball is thrown and how quickly he reacts to this. This is why he's one of the best corners in the game of Mount Rate. Look at he's reacting to the post route as the quarterback's winding up. Uh, when I saw that uh, the first time, I'm like, uh, did he just abandon his deep third zone uh, coverage? Uh, nope. He saw the quarterback winding up and took his shot at it. And boy, did he ever shoot his shot there. So, Harris Jr., basically the psychic chem on the card with that 91 zone coverage. He's also got very good play rack at 91, but my goodness. That, that's something that will change your defense on the side of the ball. Like, you're going to see a few of his interceptions. Like, it's kind of game changing the way he can react to the ball being thrown, get to the spot. So, it, it's, hard, it's hard to say he's not the best. The only thing that really kind of does him in is his speed and man coverage. Now, he's got 91 man coverage, which you'd think would hit that top tier. But you're going to see some man coverage plays. And, and ones that I didn't uh, clip here, but I, I know I went through because it's my life. I've been there. Uh, he... Uh, Played pretty terribly. Like, look at that jump. That was beautiful. <laughs> Just a little sidestep. I wanted to go down because I was up a little bit. But, uh, yeah, so man coverage trash in this game. Because a lot of routes that beat zone also beat man. So when you mix in man, like, a lot of uh, routes that beat the zone are these uh, middle. Like, god dang. That's awesome, converting that. Like, the, the, those slants, those those uh, post patterns, the out routes, as Chris Harris goes, woo, into the end zone. He's a woo guy. Maybe I'm just a woo guy. Woo, woo girl myself. Uh, I, I really can't fault this card for anything. I guess you could say he could be taller at only 5'10", uh, but block shed top tier, hit power top tier, catching, I love it. Uh, everything else, strength doesn't matter. Uh, press, don't run man press, or else you, unless you don't want to, unless you want to get beat. But there he is again, like that. How how did he stop the receiver from catching that ball? Uh, so love Chris Harris. I, I did notice, you know, against the run, I, I think just generally corners and stuff and everything is, is trash. I touched on that a little earlier. Uh, he's good, but I've seen him like, just like cor like a, one time really pissed me off. A running back was like, he was off screen, but a running back like ran past him. It was almost like the running back was off screen for Chris Harris too. That's kind of a weird, like I think out routes are still a little bit powerful there. Uh, like Chris Harris didn't react to the run. Like a guy just streaking across, just, just a guy in a, on a, a stretch route slanted across his face on the screen. I was like, Harris, what the hell are you doing right there? But moving on, the biggest negative to this card is that it's costing a million coins. Now, do I think he's worth a million coin? If you've got like a 10 to 15 million coin team right now, then yeah, I think a million coins for this card is necessary. But if you've got a 3 million coin team, no, do not devote a 30 year team to one cornerback. Uh, far more needs than that at that level. Uh, so that's that really kind of knocks him. Uh, a little bit later in the game, I think when he... I'll also look at that man coverage. How trash is that? Look at the end of the half. Just got burned on one-on-one -on -one man coverage with safety help over the top. Don't run man coverage with Chris Harris or really any corner. If Chris Harris can't do it, nobody can do it. I've seen him burn on post routes, everything. It's it's a liability. When you think you can try and lock down a guy in a, a man zone coverage, you're essentially taking your defensive back out of the play by manning him up on a wide, wide, wide receiver. It's absolutely sick. Unless you expect a streak route, do not man up guys in this game. I like that man coverage is loose. I don't like that it's absolutely abysmal, though. Uh, anyways, so maybe maybe somebody with more speed will be better on man. Uh, but like, look at that zone play. Beautiful. I love the card. Without price, this card's about a 9.5 because he's got issues with man coverage, but in zone is an animal. 
with price probably knock a whole point off so eight five because a million coins for a card is insane so thanks for watching call to action i will see you tomorrow